Few people knew Stephen Sotloff was being held captive by ISIS for the past year until two weeks ago when this video surfaced. Even when ISIS threatened to execute Sotloff after James Foley, his family and closest friends held out hope they would see him again. His mother issued an emotional plea for his release last week. As a mother, I ask your justice to be merciful. The family's hope has now turned into grief after a video released by ISIS today appears to show the 31-year-old's gruesome killing. Sotloff grew up in South Florida but went to high school in New Hampshire where he played on the varsity football and rugby teams and appeared in the musical Cabaret. The school issued a statement saying in part, his courageous actions have and will always inspire our students and our community. Emerson Lazia, Sotlov's college roommate at the University of Central Florida, was too distraught to talk on camera, but tweeted, devastated and crushed. Steve was an amazing friend. Heart is heavy for his family. While at UCF, Sotlov talked about wanting to go to the Middle East. He eventually did freelance work for several publications, including Time Magazine, Foreign Policy, and the Christian Science Monitor. Sotlov was on assignment in Syria last August when he was kidnapped. The family remains tight-lipped despite the growing media presence outside their home here in Pinecrest, Florida. They did release a statement, though, saying in part they are aware of the video and they are grieving privately. Erin? All right, Alina, thank you very much. And, and as Alina said, we understand the family has said they are grieving privately. They have also said they are awaiting uh, confirmation uh, that this is indeed the video of their son. As we have reported, the United States government has not yet formally confirmed uh, that that uh, was Stephen Sotloff in the video.